This is your the Geo Metro here. Um, this is why this uh, 92 uh, GMC Sierra 3500 HD SL cab is here. The differential got busted on it. It's hard getting rid of this thing. As you might notice, the clean spot right there in the differential. The clean spot there, that's where the drive shaft popped out. So pretty much the drive shaft goes back and forth. Like uh and then uh it leaks oil too, so in any sense it popped out, it goes back and forth. You can hear it clinging around back here. And when it leaks oil, it throws oil over the place. So the oil is there. So uh yeah. I forgot to tell you in the first video why this thing ended up here. Not only that, it's getting too rusty too, so that's why we retired it. But someday we will get it out of here. Just that they want, they want to, they want way too much for a new differential. We're gonna get a new bed for it. It's gonna be transferred to be a water truck. And if you might notice from that video called uh, "Driving the uh, Hino FA1517 Truck at Night" thing video. If you guys ever watched that video, that's the new truck we got. This is the old one. I used to do a lot of fun stuff in this truck. A lot of memories. Had it ever since we're lit when I was little. Kind of like that chrome front bumper. It's got the classic license plate. Pretty much the whole vehicle is pretty much sitting on this plastic tubing. It's got air shocks. No rear wheels. It's all the way over there. And all the weights leaning on the front end that... Man, this thing's leaking oil to head. Well, I think it's the... You might notice. You might see. It's kind of hard to see. I can't even fit underneath the truck, but... Those are the new shocks. They're called the jackers. Even the rear one's got new shocks. So, yeah, um... And it's, uh, I think there's a hole in one of the hoses that help hold the air in. And this tire's flat. We took this thing for a last drive back in 2014 when we're picking up this truck. This is a 77 GMC General. We're doing the restoration on it. We're doing the cab on it right now. We're using Bondo and all that stuff to patch it. And we're going to replace the engine on this and all that. This is going to be a nice truck when it's done. So... Yeah, sure a lot of faded stuff on this thing, very much just expired by now. You might notice all that red stuff on the windshield. That's uh, the windshield did leak water in there and then every time you open it, it just smells really bad in there. Um, so I try to use silicone, there's also rust under all that high tempered silicone. There's even rust starting to happen on the hood. A lot of miles and a lot of rust on this thing. Well, not the truck. It's mostly the box. So, uh, for you guys out there, if you like to subscribe about this truck, for all you GM lovers, I do like GM too. So, hope you guys like this video, and bye.